Hello, I'm Daniel from Teach Kids Robotics, and today we'll be talking about what are those robots doing in my store? A survey and explanation of robots in retail spaces. So, if you've been on social media or in stores recently, you may observe there's actually a robot in your store. Now, these robots have been seen across America in stores like Schnucks, Stop and Shop, Home Depot, Walmart, and Sam's Club. Now, with the rise of all these robots, the question comes about, what are these robots actually doing in all of these stores? So, what are these robots doing? The first common task that you'll see robots being employed to do in these retail spaces is known as inventory count. So today, if you want to figure out what's out of stock and what you need to reorder or stock from the back storage on the shelves, you need to manually do a walk of the shelves and determine basically your inventory count. Now this is usually done by employees of the store uh, using scanning systems to basically determine uh, what SKUs are currently in stock or out of stock. And this is a very slow and tedious process that's currently done manually again by humans. Now the thing is the same process can actually be achieved by robots. So we have robots that also go up and down the shelves, but now they're automatically going to be capturing all the same information about if something is on the shelf or not. And this is gonna allow the store basically to free up an employee who, who would have had to do inventory counts and now they can do something more valuable like work at the front cash register to get the line moving at a faster rate. And this again is going to help determine the, the order and stock count and the inventory counts in the store that the robots can now do. Additionally, something that would happen in retail stores would be floor cleaning. So actually floors in all these stores, because they're trafficked so often, not only do they need to maintain clean for the customers, but they also maintain cleanliness to preserve the life of the floor, similarly to a road that eventually has potholes that need to be fixed. Maintenance of your floor in your store is actually really important. And usually you'll see these special floor cleaning machines being run at night when there are not many people in the store. Now these same machines that you can see human operators driving are also now available in a robotic form factor. So these robots, similar to the humans, have the same capability of cleaning the floors, but instead of being driven by a human, they are simply trained on a specific route that the robot should follow, and they're able to then follow and clean the store without having, without having to have someone basically sitting and, and driving the machine, when in reality this task can now be accomplished by a robot. And so this is again another example of like an autonomous operation that a robot can do, that a human no longer needs to do so they could focus on more high value tasks, such as cleaning other parts of the store that require uh, more finer detail. So at a high level, how do these robots work? How are they able to move around the store safely without hitting anyone? So they rely on something known as sensors. The sensors are special pieces of hardware that allow them to effectively see into their environment with different basically planes and angles that allow them to capture everything going on in front of them or beside them. Now in conjunction with these sensors, there's also the autonomy system. This is really the brains of the robot that is made up of different unique key aspects. One of these aspects is perception. This is how the robot knows what it's around it. Localization, how the robot knows where it actually is within the store and motion planning how the robot determines based off where it is and what it sees around it, how to best go to its goal or target. Together, again, these different pieces of the robot and the autonomy system make up how the robot is able to function autonomously. So here's a visualization of this. We have this robot navigating 3D space, but you can see in the top right is actually a 2D representation of the environment that the robot is using to determine where it can actually drive and where it cannot drive. And so this is an example of, again, this motion planning and perception and localization of the robot knowing where it is in this environment and this internal representation known as a cost map. 
Now that we know robots are able to drive around their environment using their autonomy system by using this understanding of the environment that it gets from its sensors, uh, to determine what is in stock or not, it also relies on something known as computer vision. So there are going to be often cameras on the robots, and these cameras are going to be taking pictures of the shelves and then processing this data that is in the shelf to figure out, hey, there is either an item here or there's an item missing. There's a barcode here or a price tag that has the right price or that has an old price that now needs to be updated. And as the robot is moving, it's getting this basically data and is able to produce these insights as we can see in this example. Now a post-processed image may look like this one that's currently on the screen with something known as a bounding box, basically highlighting where every individual box is on the shelf so that you can identify what that product is and whether or not it exists so that you can determine as a robot if something is out of stock or not. So retail robotics going forward. In a recent survey conducted by Retail Wire and BrainCorp, 64% of retailers believe it's important to have a clear, executable, and budgeted robotics strategy in place in 2021. And we can see spend and deployment of robots has just been growing year over year continuously. So we can definitely expect more robots to begin showing up in the retail spaces around us. And again, they're really just going to be there to help us alleviate some of these repetitive human tasks that a robot can now perform more efficiently. So, so we can definitely expect to see more robots going forward in our retail environments. So I leave this with a question to you. Have you seen any robots in retail stores near you? Feel free to leave a comment down below with what robot you saw in which store. And if you have any questions about the robots you're seeing in the environment, feel free to leave a comment below. For more information on how robots work, feel free to look at the other videos in our channel or check out our website in the description at teachkidsrobotics.com.